In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to set up shiny metal materials using the Blender internal render. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up shiny metal materials using the Cycles render. Drag to make the Properties panel wider. Click the Object Properties button and set the Z location of the cube to 1. Click the Create tab, click the UV Sphere button to add a sphere, set its X location to 2.5 and enter, and its Z location to 1 and enter. Click the Monkey button to add a monkey, set its Y location to minus 2.5 and enter, and its Z location to 1 and enter, and its Z rotation to 90 and enter. Click the plane button to add a plane. Press S to scale 10 and enter. In the select menu, select all by type mesh. Click the tools tab and set the shading to smooth. Change the render from the blender internal to the cycles render. Now the maths that the cycles render uses to calculate how the light is scattered around the scene gives more realistic results. But to get good results you need to spend a little time setting up the scene and setting up how the scene is lit. First thing I'm going to do is delete the default lamp. Select the cube. Click the material button. Now the default cube has a default material called material. I'm going to reuse it. I'm going to name it walls and I'm going to click the unlink button to unlink it from the cube. Select the plane, click the browse material button, select walls and that will link the material to the plane. Click the use nodes button, click on the color Set the red to 0, the green to 0, and the blue to 0.3, and enter. Change the shading to material. Duplicate the plane, hold down shift, press D, and enter. Click the object properties, set the X rotation to 90, and set the Y location to 10, and the Z location to 10. Duplicate again, hold down shift, press D and enter. Set the Z rotation for the duplicate to 90. Set the X location to minus 10 and the Y location to 0. Duplicate again, hold down shift, D and enter. And click the left arrow so that the X location becomes minus 10.01. Click the Material button and click the Unlink button to unlink the wall's material from the duplicate. Select the wall. To make a window in the wall, go into Edit Mode. Click Subdivide. Up the number of cuts to 3. Go into Face Select Mode. Select a middle face. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Hold down Shift and select all the middle faces. Press X and delete the faces. Go back into object mode. Select the plane that is behind the wall. Click the add new material button. I'm going to make the plane the main source of light in the scene. So name the material main and change the surface shader to emission and the strength to 10. Select the other wall, duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Click the object properties and set the Y location to minus 10. Click the material button, click the browse material button, select the main light material. Now a classic lighting setup would have three lights, I'm just going to have two. Click the Add New Material button, call the new material side, 
and set the strength of the side light to 5. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the monkey, click the Add New Material button. Change the surface shader to Glossy. Call the new material Chrome. Select the cube, click the Browse Material button, select Chrome. Select the sphere, click the Browse Material button, select Chrome. To render the scene, press F12 or click Render, click the Render button. Now, with the default settings for the glossy shader, we get a highly polished metal appearance like Chrome. If I set the roughness to 0.1 and press F12, we get a more brushed metal appearance. It looks more like zinc. There are two problems I'm going to look at. One is the noisiness of the render, the coarse graduation from highlight to diffuse, we get this very grainy pattern. The other is the dark patches, particularly on the cube and some on the monkey. To deal with the dark areas, we need a more complex mix of shaders. To set that up, I'm going to use the node editor. Zooming in with the mouse wheel, we see we have the single glossy shader providing our output. I'm going to disconnect that, move that up and make some room in the middle. Add shader diffuse and put that in the corner. Add shader mix and put that in the middle and connect those up. Pressing F12 to render, we get an equal mix from the two shaders, but the resulting material looks more like polished stone than metal. Press F11 to go back to the previous window and set the factor from 0.5 to 0.05. Now 5% is coming from the diffuse shader and 95% from the glossy. Press F12 to render the scene and we get back to a shiny metallic looking material. By default the diffuse color is a light gray depending on which metal you're modeling you most probably want a darker gray. I'm going to set the diffuse color to a mid gray and I'm going to set the glossy color to the same value 0.5 To fix the problem of the quality of the render, go to the render properties, scroll down and open up the sampling panel and increase the number of samples in the render. I'm going to increase it to 100 and render the scene. Now I'm using the CPU of my computer to process the rendering, not the GPU of my graphics card which would give faster results. There is a notable difference between setting the value at 100 and 500 but setting at 500 takes a long time to render values above 500 the difference is negligible to make the material look like gold go back to the node editor I should create a new material but for speed I'm going to alter the chrome material I'm going to set the red to 0.9 the green to 0.6 and the blue to 0 and do that for both shaders the red to 0.9 the green to 0.6 and the blue to 0 going back to the 3D view and selecting a wall I'll also change the color of the walls to brown with a red value of 0.02 a green value of 0 0.01 and a blue value of 0. Pressing F12 to render. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download and look at at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching. 
and goodbye.